Tonight, in this very room, a murder will be committed. My murder. You know, we always say it starts with the script. And Ryan is so very descriptive, and he gave you a sense of what he wanted this film to look like. And you immediately got the sense this was broader than the original. You know, there's a lot more for me to do, to tell. Such an eclectic bunch. <laughs> We have four of our main characters here displayed that are in our dinner sequence. So this is Benoit Blanc, played by our wonderful Daniel Craig. And this is his Mediterranean look. We wanted to change him up a little bit and push him a little bit more modern, but still keeping that old Hollywood glamour feel to him. I just took To Catch a Thief from Cary Grant. I just said, look, nowhere I'm going to look as good as that. But if we can sort of go in that general direction, then I'd be really happy. I always felt that he cared about what he looked like. So it was a chance for us to pull out more of his wardrobe. There's also a little hat that he wears at times and the high-waisted pleated trouser. Benoit has got such wit and character about him. But, you know, we wanted also make it lightweight, you know, it's fun and new, and he looks fantastic. You know, this is truly delightful. This just never happens in Clue. That's because it's a terrible game. This character is played by Janelle Monáe. We wanted to make her sophisticated, so it's a kind of a take on a tuxedo with a little bow. You could see maybe it's a bow tie, but we have the silk, and then we also have the tuxedo striped pants. And working with Jenny and collaborating with her and the team was really wonderful because Jenny is a great collaborator and also has great style and knew this character up and down. It really is something. You feel more comfortable in your character when you know the clothing is going to be right. So you come here in your Gucci flats. Valentino. Then we have Lionel, who's played by Leslie Odom Jr. And in his, we wanted a very sleek, very strong, but very subtle style. Ryan and Jenny and I talked about Lionel not being cliche version of a scientist that's, you know, lab coat, nerdy poindexter kind of guy, but he's not your grandfather's scientist. So he wanted to punch that color and not do just traditional khaki pants or something like that. I think, you know, he's got some style. Mm, like a woman in 16. Miles has stepped it up using a lot of like, cashmere and linen and these natural fibers that are keeping him grounded in reality. I mean, you know, there's no reality there at all. But Dave comes in, and, you know, I have a Speedo and a leopard tie. And he's like, what is going on? And, you know, he was so open. I thought that was going to be a joke, like, a, really, a gun in water? <laughs> but she found a way to loop uh, belt holes onto the Speedo. Oh, my God! But I guess, you know, that's just who Duke is. Duke is ridiculous. This is our lovely Birdie, played by Kate Hudson, and Birdie's character is very glamorous. We just wanted to make it something really special, and Ryan really wanted the spin and this colorful, and it almost is like an illusion. It's almost like a visual effect in and of itself when she does her spin. You know, you'll notice most every change of hers is either a large flashy print or a large flashy color, and it was flowing and just like, you know, let's roll with it. I have so many looks in this movie that I had so much fun wearing, and to me, fashion is art, period. And Jenny's just absolutely brilliant. Wow! Birdie's entire wardrobe was made, other than her bikini, and then Daniel. Most everything he wore was made. I think everybody wore something that was made within their wardrobe. You know, I always say, I give you the tools, and then you use those tools to whatever your character needs. I love this movie. It was so much fun for costumes.